Hi, I'm Ryan Samansky, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're back in the Battleship's wardroom to talk about one of the artifacts in our collection that is on more or less permanent exhibit. Uh, so any of you guys who come out and tour the ship in person will get to see this. However, uh, we try to limit the number of signs on the ship so the ship looks more like when the crew was on board. Uh, and so you might walk past it without knowing what it is. But before we start talking about this, I want to do a brief channel update. Uh, many of you came to the museum's channel over the last 90 days while we were in dry dock or preparing for dry dock. Uh, so most of what you know about the channel is us talking about that one specific project. Uh, we've gotten a lot of questions about this sort of stuff, which is why I'm talking about it right now. But our channel has produced content for about four years now, and it's content that relates to Battleship New Jersey, uh, military naval history, comparing her to other ships, uh, about specific objects on this ship, all sorts of topics, not just about dry dock. And we will continue to do videos five nights a week, Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These videos will be on a broad range of topics relating to the battleship. Uh, some of them will continue to be updates on the sort of work that we're doing around the ship. And many of them will be more history related about the ship, her crew, uh, other stuff relating to the ship in some way. If you're not familiar with that, go ahead back and check some of our older videos. Before you tell us we need to make a video on the 16 inch guns or whatever it is you think we need to make a video about, go back to our channel in the search feature, search for that topic and see that we've already made a bunch of videos about it before you go asking specific questions. Uh, but we will be continuing to make content like that in the future. And uh, if you joined us during the dry docking period, welcome. We're happy to have you on board. So uh, this artifact right here is the flag that flew, maybe isn't the correct term, uh, when President Ronald Reagan was on board the ship. President Reagan was on the ship in December of 1982 for her fourth and most recent recommissioning period. Flags like this are common for a number of different important ranks. So uh, ships will fly admiral's flags whenever there's an admiral on board to denote that. There's a special flag for a US consulate. There's a special flag for the Secretary of the Navy. And of course, the president has his special flag. So this is one of a series of flags of this type that are flown. If you have, say, an admiral and the president on board, then you fly the senior flag, in this case, the president as the commander in chief of the armed forces. In addition to the president's flag, there's also our commissioning pennant. The commissioning pennant is flown in port from the masthead of any commissioned naval vessel. It's uh, one of those traditions that goes back to sailing ships to help distinguish commissioned vessels, because uh, oftentimes in wartime it would be common for the Navy to take over a bunch of merchant ships. So if they're operating as a merchant ship, they do not fly this. When they become a naval vessel in times of war, whatever the case might be, then they would fly this. And that's how you can tell how all these identical looking three-masted ships, which ones are actually using the authority of the government as a naval vessel versus not. Uh, but that's just one of those traditions that the ship maintains. This is one of several commissioning pennants that we have in the ship's collection. So uh, this particular flag, flown again, maybe not the correct term, was hung on the bulkhead on the 01 level, directly behind where President Reagan and Captain Fogarty were on the uh, Dias, the uh, former 20 millimeter gun platform that is currently used as a saluting gun platform. And from there, uh, they commissioned the ship. That's where they were during the ceremony. That's where all the speaking happened, where the podium was, so to speak. And then on the pier in Long Beach is where all of the viewers would have been. There's some great pictures of the Secret Service blocking off a section of the pier near the ship where the president's car is and, and uh, so people couldn't get too close to the uh, podium on the 01 level. Battleship New Jersey is the only battleship to ever be commissioned by a sitting president. And it wasn't the original plan. In fact, 
She was supposed to be commissioned in January of 83, but President Reagan happened to be home for Christmas. So on December 29th, 82, when he was leaving, I'm not quite sure where his home was in uh, California. So when he was leaving that area on his way to, um, I guess the airport to fly back to DC, he was able to make a stop on the ship, give his presidential blessing that the ship was commissioned, and then there you have it. It's really cool because all these other artifacts in the museum's collection from when the ship was being reactivated all list the January date as commissioning. And of course, that's not accurate, but that was what they had planned for throughout this whole process. Fortunately, New Jersey was able to be reactivated on schedule and on budget, uh, which Reagan and Lehman uh, being able to do that is what more or less convinced Congress to reauthorize the other three Iowas being reactivated. And it's a good thing they picked New Jersey because none of them were on schedule or on budget. So uh, just a reminder, this hangs on the forward bulkhead of the ship's wardroom. When you come out for a tour of the ship, you can see this unique artifact relating to President Reagan's time on board the battleship. What's a video topic you'd like to see us cover in a future video? Let us know in the comment section down below. Or uh, let us know what your favorite video that we've ever made is. Let us know down there. Uh, if you're a new viewer, you have ideas for topics, remember, go and search our page and make sure we haven't made one about that topic recently. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum and our ongoing restoration efforts now that we're out of dry docking. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about the museum and the channel. Thanks for watching.